I purchased a black toe CNC router kit from buildyourcnc.com last year. I assembled it. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. I'll show you a couple modifications I made to it. In the meantime, this is what I've been doing a lot of is making custom barbecue handles and it actually pushed me into a business because I'm a barbecue guy and a woodworker and so my friends started asking me to make handles, custom handles for their Webers and Big Green Eggs. So next thing you know, I've had to set up a website, amlwoodart.com, to handle the business I've been having, selling these silly things. But I'll show you a couple modifications I made to this machine that I think has made it quite a bit better. And I, I tell you, I've gotten a lot of use out of this already. So you can see down at the bottom of the picture here, I, I made the x-axis bearings adjustable. Uh, instead of trying to wedge the bearing up and tighten it in one motion, I can hold them with a screw. You can see I did the same thing on the on the other bearings as well. This one you see here is being held up from the bottom. There's a little uh, cross dowel in there, and uh, that's holding it up. And you can see over here on the other axes as well. And you'll note that where there used to be a washer there, there's a square piece of 3 16ths inch steel that, that I've used for washers. Uh, it, it doesn't bend into that opening of that slot. So it's really rigid. As well, I also replaced the little bracket holding the lead screw with 3 16ths angle iron. So there's any lash is gone out of that. Um, and I also put a little addition onto the, the end of the y-axis chain to, so I can get full range uh, on the width of the machine. So I think that's pretty much all the modifications I've made. But it's really, I mean, it's really tight now. I can get really precise movement out of this machine. And all in all, I'd say I'm very happy with it.